Hi! In this video we will see how to create this sign using Rhino in Boss. As you can see I have previously defined all these curves, some already grouped and now the idea is to use Rhino in Boss to define all the reliefs. To do it I'm going to start with the emboss icon and in here I can define project measures, resolution, in this case I'm going to reduce maybe somewhere in the middle of course the type in this case I want core in the in the bottom I want delete base it means that I will use the the relief curves to define the end and of course the cap distance after this I just need to to check to start defining the operations so the new operation I will define operation type extrude and I will select the curve the outside curve and define the extrusion distance in this case I can double click and define 0.5 millimeters and now I just need to refresh to check the result. Okay, now I will add a new operation, in this case operation by profiles and I will select curve, in this case two curves for this operation. In here I can adjust the gumball, I can hide the previous results, also the previous gumball and adjust this one exactly how I need. OK, so I just need to show and refresh and as you can see the profile was successful added to the previous operation. So I'm going to add a new operation, operation type by profile and the curve. I will select again these two curves, height the results and adjust the gumball. OK, so I just need to show and refresh and as you can see the, re the relief was successful added to the previous operations. I can hide the gumballs with these icons and remember if press shift I will hide all. So Let's move on to the next operation, operation type by profile, and the curve I will select this star. In here I want to define operation settings from this curve, I will change the profile to this one, the straight one. So I just need to double click to change the profile, in here I can adjust profile measures, I want to create something in like this, so I just need to refresh and if needed I can adjust profile again. OK, it seems what I was looking for, maybe a little bit less, I can double click and define 2.2, .2. OK, and refresh. OK, the result is looking good, let's move on to the next operation. Once again operation type by profile and the curve, I'm going to select these two curves and also these ones. Once again I can hide and adjust the gumball. and once again refresh and as you can see the operation was successful added to the previous ones OK, let me hide the gumballs and move on in this case I'm going to hide the results I want to create a surface in here with the with the the shape I want to apply 
my relief so I can create a normal planar surface from planar curves and in here I can use the cache edit just to adjust the shape in this case I can define control points in Z axis just two and I will adjust the surface with the gumball exactly the shape I need let me adjust a little bit more seems fine so I can use the escape button to delete the cage and of course show the results let me adjust the position of the surface okay and now I'm going to use one new operation and this time I'm going to select operation based on geometry so in this case I select not a curve but an object and press enter so now if I refresh as you can see the result of the operation is the surface selected so this is the idea of the operation type based on geometry to use an object let me hide the surface and move on to the next operation in this case once again operation by profile and now I'm going to select these two curves and define not by profile but operation type extrude define extrusion 0.5 millimeters and refresh okay as you can see the operation was successful added and one other operation operation type extrude and the curves I'm going to select this and this and let me define in this case 0.7 millimeters 8 and refresh okay the result is what I was looking for and now the last operation I'm going to select operation type by profile the curves I'm going to select the letters and in this case with the settings I'm going to define style not add but subtract so I can adjust in here also the, the gumball measures the 8 and I just need to refresh to check the results okay it looks very good so the sign is ready in this case let me just hide the gumballs check again if I need to adjust any operation I can probably in here define only 0.3 and refresh again okay easily we define exactly the object we are looking for and now I just need to add the changes to the document at this moment Rhino in boss is calculating the mesh all the results are being processed and before add the mesh to the document it will open the decimator the decimator allow us to reduce the mesh resolution and keeping the detail so let's take a little bit to calculate the mesh
Okay, now here we have the decimator. In here we can see the results. If needed, we can reduce. Let's try 70%. Okay, it seems to keep the detail, as you can see from the original number of faces and number of vertices, we reduce 70% and now I can add the results, so decimator is calculating and we'll add finally the mesh to the document. Okay, the mesh was successful created. Let me change the display mode to render it. And now, as you can see, here we have the result. Seems very good in the bottom flat, has defined it. And this is the idea. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.